unanimous decision. It was a majority decision. 29-28 times two. One judge had it 28-28. Interesting. One judge gave Tony Martin, Rocco Martin, a 10-8 in that yep. third and final round, and there is a defense of that based upon the new scoring. All right, here we go. Co-main event, Juicy A. Formiga is in black. Joseph Benavidez is in gray. Out of his patented southpaw stance. First meeting between these two, September 4, 2013, in Belo Horizonte, Brazil. Benavidez won that fight by first round knockout. Juicier jumping about, looking very sprightly on his feet here. Benavidez got his feet more kind of planted. Of course, you've got to be careful when you fight somebody and it's a rematch and you took them out there pretty easily. You've got to be careful not to be too overconfident. Of course, Benavidez is a smart man. He knows. Oh, man. Wow. Two huge body kicks from Benavidez. Beautiful body kicks. That's yeah. on his left leg, the southpaw stance. That's right on the liver, guys. And you can already see a mark, a significant welt on the backside of Juicy A Formiga from one of those Benavidez toes. Woo. You're not going to out cardio Benavidez. Would appear to have a speed advantage in this one. Big right hand over the top. Wonder if he's trying to set up a left head kick with that, going to the body that hard. Yeah, very. Very well, maybe possible. Pardon me, could get my words out there. Oh, Juicy A fired right back, yeah, with a left hand there. Saw some late money come in on Formiga today. Tightened up the betting line. Unless I was out in Vegas and I was training with Eddie Joe's uh, striking coach, and one of the things he likes to do is put the uh, tie pad on his hat to work those cap kicks. And Joe just landed a very nice cap kick on Formiga, really dug it in there. So really look out for him to work the cap of Juicy A Formiga. Yeah, Joe's looking really sharp here, delivering a variety of techniques, and that was a nice right hook. Kind of connected with the back of the head, but Formiga got his attention, landed his own shot. Looking for that low calf kick again. Yeah, beautiful right hand counter from Formiga right on the eye, and caused a cut around that left eye of Joseph Benavides. Yeah, you saw Joe grab that right away. He felt it immediately. Yeah, looking for that low cock, yep. as you said, Paul. Some insider info. Yeah, and you can see the, there's a cut there on Joe's left eye. Yeah, trying to bug him a little bit, Not too. Yet. Great location. Wiping the blood away. It's very distracting. Yeah, you've got to be careful in this situation. I've been there in fights, and you start wiping that, and you, you, it's a distraction. You've got a guy in front of you that's trying to take your head off, but you're, you're wiping blood out of your eye. Sometimes when you do that, as you're wiping the blood, bang, you get hit. Right. That's what happened the first time I fought Rockhold. Under two minutes to go in the round. Benavidez closing the distance here. Unofficially, Benavidez has outstruck Formiga 19 to 3, but perhaps the most significant strike landed by Formiga. That's for Joe open, and that cut, like you said, yeah. really starting to affect him a bit. And the truck just showed me what happened was he went into kind of a clinch situation, and Formiga threw a punch, but the thumbnail kind of went in his eye. Oh. And it was the thumb that caught the thumbnail in the eye that caused the cut. So, a really, really unfortunate oh. sequence of events here because. Formiga didn't mean to do that. He was trying to throw a legitimate shot, and then just sometimes, in the heat of the moment, that's what happens. But Benavidez has got to do everything he can to try and put that out of his mind. And it's really unfortunate with the blood's going right into the eye. Joe is so good at scrambling. Wow. Tremendous scramble from Benavidez. Stuck in the guillotine, but I think Joe's going to work his way out of here. Gotta be careful though. I'm not even sure how committed. How committed is for me? No, no, this no. Because he's still got that yeah. the grip on the outside. Now he's trying to switch. He's trying to switch his grip. He's trying to adjust it. But you see Joe immediately fighting that hand. He, he's got his head right out of there. Just beautiful job from Benavidez. Yeah. Nice head position there. Unleashes with a couple of shots. Oh, yeah. Expect Joe to bomb yeah. on the fence. Joe loves that switch in step. Yeah. It's kind of like what Masvidal did against Darren Till. Yeah. Oh, man, that was wicked. Oh, yeah. Ben 
Khabib has thrown everything with fight ending intentions on the feet here tonight. Strong start for Joseph. Nice rally from Formiga later in the round. Round two. Your next. especially in the place that it's at. That is a bad position to have a cut. The blood comes right down into your eye. And it, just like uh, uh, Mike said, it just annoys you. You're always gonna wipe the blood out of your eyes and it's gonna bother him the whole night. But Joe really fights good in these types of positions. Yeah, Joe's a veteran. He's been here many, many times, you know. Mixed martial arts, not everything goes your way. You've gotta get through adversity. Sometimes you get injured and then you gotta go. You gotta divert from the game plan and find another way to win. Joe's got the experience, he's been involved in this game long enough. He's still very much in this fight. And he said, going into the first fight, he was fully expecting a battle back and forth. He said, I don't think anything's changed. You know, I caught him, I got him out of there, but I'm expecting a war with him again. I know he's talented, I know he's good. So if this has to go 15 minutes, Joseph Benavides can do that all day. Yeah, these guys aren't slowing down at all. Formiga, just a totally different striker, layered striker than the guy that Joe fought in 2013. You see Formiga wants to go for that spinning back fist. He likes that, he's favoring that. Yeah. He's throwing Joe off a little bit, making him want to clinch. Nice, pretty good shot from Formiga. I'll tell you what, that was an excellent entry. Oh, look at that. Benavides. The scrambles of these look flyers. Look at that from ridiculous. Joe, it's insane. Look at this. Wow. Ends up I mean, how did he do that? He was taken down squirms about a little bit, and all of a sudden he's on top. And that's my technical term. Well, yes. Benavidez. That is the technical term. Formiga <laughs> is like world renowned for his back taking, and yeah. Benavidez just an outstanding scrambler and grappler in his own right. Well, he's got this head and arm choke. I don't see Joe. I was going to say sweaty second round, the way Joe moves and slips out of things. And as I said earlier, Joe said he thinks he could beat him in a straight grappling match. Well, so far. Well, let's take a look. Let's see. Doing well. At least. Doing real well. Secured the half guard position there. He just passed his knee, so therefore he's like, stop the scrambling, stop the movement of Juicy A. Now Joe's just trying to get to a position where he can start landing some ground and pound. Really? Now, well, good job of regarding by Formiga. And Formiga, as yet in the second round, has been unable to cause any further damage on that cut. Thought maybe they might go out of their way to try to target it. Yeah, the cutman did a fantastic job because I don't see any blood as of yet. And I can see our cutman, Robin Rowe. He is watching the monitors trying to stay in yeah, this fight. Wow. You're yeah. right, there's no blood coming there's from no that There's no blood eye. at all. He's done a fantastic job on that. A nice body kick and then a slip from Benavidez. Under two minutes now, round two. Just shows you how much Joe's throwing into every one of those yep. kicks. Oh, oh, nice calf kick there at the end. Yeah, but he's kind of walking into shots with his head leading. Yes. He's leading with his head. He's got to be careful. He could walk into an upper gun. You know, Juicy has got strikes of his own, you know. Paul, that one calf kick has... I don't want to say render for a one-legged fighter, but there's an indentation on that left calf of 
to Omega. Yes. His mobility is compromised. It's hurting him. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Ooh, nice on the break. Joe's so aggressive. Yeah. He throws everything into every <laughs> shot, man. How these guys haven't clashed heads yet is beyond me, because Joe's coming in, you know, like a freight train, leading with the head, of course, throwing shots. Oh, shoot. I'd like a minute now to go round two. I'd like to see Joe switch orthodox for a little bit and try to attack that calf. Hey, you see the lumps on it already. There we go. Yeah, he he has a face of pain. You can yeah. see the pain on his face yeah. right now. Jeez. Joe's put it together. Real nice combinations. Oh! 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 Oh!